Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we're doing a reading for Keanu Reeves. I just want to put a warning out there for, um, I had to turn off the comment sections um, because of nasty comments that were being done and that's not what I'm about here. It's about being having the opportunity to um, put in requests for these celebrities on who you want readings on. And it's also there for you guys to be who you want to authentically be and not worry about judgment, okay, from others. And that's just not happening in this comment section. And I don't have the time to um, monitor it as much as I'd like to. And so I'm also having celebrities coming in as if they are the real celebrities and people are just copying their picture and posing as them okay so please don't get scammed with that okay so any celebrities that are showing up on my channel just know no celebrity is going to take the time to come to my channel and speak to um the people that are on my channel okay they're much too busy i'm sure <laughs> to be doing stuff like that and in any case um there, it is a scam and is a well-known scam that has been going on. I, I even had Henry Cavill on my channel as somebody posing as him. So just beware of that. Um, don't give out any uh, personal information and be very diligent on what you may say to this person. In, in fact, just, just um, maybe report them. Uh, that this is what's going on, okay? Because, um, yeah, I, I had to turn it off. I can't have this going on and people giving information or money to these people. So, in any case, let's get on with the reading. Oh, we have the devil energy and we're going to do a Celtic cross for Keanu and his future spouse. So there's a lot of passion here, um, a little bit of possessiveness, maybe um, some major uh, feeling here and desire. These are the energy, that's the energy I'm picking up. So what about the spouse? Okay, so we have the king of pentacles here and the devil. So let's see, let's get the fears here. Okay, we have, these are new cards, so I'm just, uh, judgment. Okay, so somebody might be facing karma here, or trying to make the right judgment call. Okay, that's too many spirit. I just want the fears of this connection. What are they worried about? Okay, we have the hangman in the reverse. So somebody may need to change their perspective here. So it could be Keanu, it could be his person. Um, I feel like the King of Pentacles is Keanu and the devil is um, this future person. They may just be a Capricorn, okay? Uh, they may be under judgment or trying to make a judgment call about something here. Somebody needs to change their perspective here and it looks like it might be Keanu. Now, might be flipped on this energy, but it's coming through here. All right, so what's, what is it they think about each other? Oh, I got a twofer, perfect. What do they think about each other? Okay, so working and boundaries, it looks like, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. It looks like they're working hard, working to make this stand up. I feel like standing up for what they believe in so let's see, what's, what is it they feel towards one another? Oh, oh, look at that, I got a two for again. Oh, three. Okay, so I have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So somebody that is, um, I feel kind of emotional. The Queen of Wands is also revengeful. And then we have the Empress here in reverse. So there may be someone else here, another feminine here. And then we have greed. So there's someone here, there's the Queen of Wands in reverse, and then we have the Empress here in reverse. And the Empress could be sad, um, perhaps waiting for this union to come in here. With the Empress, I kind of feel like it's, um, 
maybe not feeling supported or and it may be having to do with this perspective that Keanu has here. This union may be um, very passionate, desiring each other quite a bit, but it looks like somebody's getting judgment here because there needs to be a perspective change between these two. Now this, these two here, this is uh, Keanu and this could be this Queen of Wands that's in his energy that may even be revengeful or trying to maybe misuse. There's a misuse of money here, whether it's on greed or whether it is to do with getting back. Because this Empress is here and she's emotional as well at this point. I mean, she is uh, Venus, which is love. Okay. And I kind of feel like this might be somebody that's maybe a little clingy or codependent, maybe smothering in some way, could just be that they're um, wanting to, uh, how do I put that? Um, maybe overprotective, okay? About Keanu, wants to help protect him. Yeah, with the tower on the bottom of the car, uh, deck, there's a big change going to happen here, I feel. So what is the past intuition telling Keanu? Oh, oh. wow, okay, that just wanted to flip up now, and that was judgment. Something about a judgment call, maybe making the wrong judgment call here. This is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and this is past intuition, somebody that isn't really great with their money and the moon something's coming to light here when I first cracked open the deck we had um, earlier I had um, truth with the ace of swords and somebody charging in um, you now whether that's the Empress or whether that's Keanu um, I'm not sure, but let's see. What is the near future intuition here for Keanu? Celebration. Oh, well, that's nice. That's promising. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. So let's see what's going on here. Can I find out the near intuition for her? something's not happening he's not coming in passionately here he's it's like um the knight of wands in reverse so it's kind of something superficial or no self-control um when it comes to this desire for this person he he may not be able to fight this but at this point, it may be a celebration that he runs into his empress. Let's see. <laughs> wow, really, okay, well we now have the chariot here. <laughs> okay, I'll put that there, I'll put this back. So let's see, lessons learned. Okay, so it looks like he's really, yeah okay so there might be other people here involved there's a king of swords in reverse right now in his energy or her energy and then the nine of cups so somebody sees this person as fulfillment here and somebody's kind of cold a bit of a dictator maybe manipulating something here in somebody's energy. Now, whether that's her energy or whether that is his, but there's some lessons learned about fulfillment or being satisfied about something and somebody is not, they're angry here. What is, what is the extent, external influences here? Okay. Okay, all right, and that is the page.
page of swords in reverse. Okay. So this may be somebody that's impatient about somebody coming in here, maybe for a proposal, because we do have the Ace of Cups here. So I feel like once they meet, this is going to have a, like a whirlwind romance here. What don't they see coming? Temperance in reverse. Really? Okay. This is Sagittarius. So there may be a conflict here. I feel because of somebody hasn't let somebody else go here first. There's secrets coming to the surface though. And this is kind of maybe he gets the news at a celebration and he bolts. He runs away or comes towards somebody here. This may be somebody he knows. What is this? What's the temperance? Let's see. What what else doesn't he see coming? Okay. So he may not be satisfied in where, where he's at. With the Nine of Pentacles, he is taken. It might be jealousy as well. It could be on her side. It could be on his but there is some type of um, unavailable. He's not unavailable. He's unavailable, or she is unavailable. And it could be because something hasn't closed out here. So, what is the outcome? Okay, so somebody is making a choice here. I feel like it's um, they were held back at some point. Yeah, with this love offer because there's something they need to do first. They need to uh, end something out once if there are. I feel like somebody's in a relationship here because they are unavailable, unavailable. So whether it's the Empress that's unavailable or it's Keanu. somebody's feeling certain emotions somebody's about greed and somebody isn't um they're working and there's boundaries here so and it may be because somebody wasn't uh, pulling their weight in this relationship they're in there's something coming to light here and this is intuition from the past um and in the near future there's a lot of celebrating, but nobody's moving. And then all of a sudden this chariot pops up. So it's something I feel like divinely guided. I mean, if you look at that card, I don't know if you can see it, it's too bright. In the card, there's a light. You can see the light there. And I feel like they're being guided to go a certain direction here. I feel like maybe they're both in a relationship and I hate to say that because but it looks like there's a king of swords here as well and the king of pentacles one's upset one isn't this could be a friend um, this could be a family member this could be a spouse of either the empress or the queen of wands but I, I do feel like the Queen of Wands is with Keanu right now, and the Empress, she's emotional right now, and it might be because of this King of Swords here, who sees her maybe as the wish fulfillment, very cold and controlling and dictatorish, you know, that manipulation. There is love here coming in though with this eight of wands and but this is kind of somebody that's impatient maybe has emotional trauma here but wants to give a love offer but somebody is not available and somebody's impatient here about this there's no offer here but somebody has made a decision. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yes, yeah, somebody's recovering. They're gonna recover first. And it, it may have been some really strong desire to this 
um, future spouse when he meets them he's not going to be able to forget them easily he's going to recover first and maybe even do the work so let's see what we get here because I'd like to do which cards am I being called to use here Kipper okay so we'll make sure I got them all yep all right so let's look at the energy please spirit for the combined energy between these two what is the combined energy between these two now this devil could be the devil energy was supposed to be for the future spouse but it could be this energy of who he is with now so what is this devil energy here with the king of pentacles please okay official person in reverse so this may not be official i don't feel like he's married this person it's not official yet it's kind of what i'm getting here I feel like he's going to want to make it official, maybe get married, maybe he's very traditional in that sense. What is the fears here? What is the fear here? What is the fear? Mm. The fear is about a perception here, maybe a judgment call about a mature woman. Okay, so what's the, what is it they think? Mm. Okay, so this may not be something they want to share with the community or with anybody when they meet. I feel like this is something that they're going to want to keep quiet. Um, not that they want to hide her, but hide her from other people trying to get in between them. What do they feel here? The combined energy for the feelings. Okay. Um, they're both being mature. There's no child here. And I feel like this is... This is maybe confirming that this empress is mature. Maybe this mature woman with the child in reverse. She's not being childish at all. What about the Queen of Wands? What is that? What is she? I'm going to see what she feels. What does he feel about the Queen of Wands? What does he feel about the Queen of Wands? <laughs> that she's looking for a wealthy man. That could be why that greed card is here the four of pentacles in reverse is greedy and misuse of money and this is what we have for her the wealthy man that could be why she's with him could be all about status wealthy man hmm okay what is the past intuition here well that was fast that something's coming to light here and with, with the page of pentacles in reverse that's kind of like lacking focus or direction here but with something coming to light here I feel like it's having to do with going on a journey um, and there's the 10 here which is kind of closing out a cycle and with the four here with the wealthy man which is 13 broken down to four He's stability and that's what she's this Queen of Wands is looking for in the money and the greed and number nine is fulfillment for the Empress with the child in reverse she's not childish she's she's the mature woman it's the Empress in reverse and I feel like she's just sad and I it could have something to do with this king of swords here she may be dealing with her own issues here with somebody so what is the combined energy when it comes to the near future intuition for these two hmm. change <laughs> i can't make it up there's change here 
somebody's moving out he's got the bags and it looks like he's the one packing the car so he may be the one leaving um, this place okay so uh, let's see what is the lesson learned because there's something about somebody being controlling and cold and manipulative when it comes to fulfillment and uh, that is a lesson that's being learned here yeah this is something that may be learned in the next little bit here um, or it is already started it may even have been from last month <coughs> March 6th possibly, March 9th, earlier this month, the end of last month, but something's changing here for this distant horizon to come, somebody's going to realize that where they're at is not where they're being fulfilled because this is what they've learned, right? So what is the external influences? Mm. Maybe somebody's coming out of bad health here. We have um, the Page of Swords in reverse, and I feel like that is somebody that played a lot of mind games. But somebody's coming forward. Now this could be this masculine this king of swords that is dictator manipulating because he's superficial here or plays mind games gossips all talk no action and somebody i feel like when keanu might be coming in there may or when this king of swords is with this empress i feel like this could be why she's in the reverse he may have used bad health to manipulate her to try to get him to stay with her and offer that cup of love um, to try but it's in reverse and he's not stable now that could be mentally or with his wealth or just the feeling of not being secure within themselves so let's look here what don't they see coming what is the combined energy here oh, okay that's an important card i'm gonna have to pause hang on okay so i've gotten my necklace is all messed up again okay so i have concern this is a master number um with uh concern here with the impatience and not being available and i feel like this has to do with either Keanu when he runs into this Empress that's in reverse or this is guided this is something that was guided with the ascended masters for them to run into each other but they're both like not available and somebody might be impatient about something here because somebody has made a decision here about a cup of love not coming in so with the is it the knight yeah it's the knight it's the knight of cups so this is somebody that's unavailable okay so they haven't gone to court yet they may be um she may be married this empress may be already married here she's making a decision about this cup of love now i don't feel like this is keanu though i feel like this is still this king of swords in reverse this looks like she's some this feminine this uh i'm feeling this empress here is closing out a cycle with somebody here and she might end up doing it before keanu does but there's change here Let's find out about Keanu. What is the lesson learned Keanu learned here? What is it that he learned here? Mm, about an ending, to end something with the coffin card. This is number 10. This is a closing out here. This is an ending of this relationship. So he knows he has to change and end something out here. And so does she. And it's going to be just in this next little bit here, maybe to the end of March, maybe even before then. What does Keanu's external influences, what is his external influences here, please? 
Spirit, what's the external influence for Keanu? Mature man in reverse. So this King of Swords may not be with this Empress. Yes, or there's another masculine that's in the way of Keanu changing something here, or this is something he has to change with a relationship here. And this this is a mature man in reverse. So there may be some growth once he ends something out here. Let's see here. What what doesn't he see coming? What doesn't he see coming? Sudden wealth in reverse. So it's in reverse though. So there may be a loss of money. This could be karma for not closing something out right away or there might be a loss of money here somehow with that wealthy man and the greed with the queen of wands hmm. what's the outcome for them oh. <laughs> hang on <laughs> threw it on the floor again so it looks like it's the privileged lady in reverse is the outcome so this decision is whoever this queen of wands is i'm feeling is going to be no longer she's not going to get that wealth okay she's not going to have that privilege any longer when it comes to him what's on the bottom of the deck High honor. Okay. So somebody's going to do the right thing here. And it looks like they both might just, once they meet here, I feel like this is going to have them recover from whatever they're in right now. And it looks like they're both in something. One may be married and they've already made a decision about about no cup of love here so and the courthouse in reverse it's just a matter of time about getting a, a divorce I feel and then with Keanu's side the ending here there's a mature man that might be in his external influences that might be um, could even be recovering from bad health or it just may be that he's in his energy in his ear about something and this may need to end as well or change. The sudden wealth in reverse, this I feel is going to be about this privileged lady, but she's no longer a privileged lady. She's in reverse. So I don't feel like she's going to get what she thinks she's going to get from Keanu. So whoever this woman is that is with him right now is in the way of this union with his empress and I feel like there's on both sides um, with the empress and with Keanu there's there's people in their energies that they may have to walk away from in order for this to come together and things are coming to light they're about a journey that maybe they're meant to be on there's that change here and he is coming forward when he does meet her there's celebration and that could be where they meet and maybe she's feisty <laughs> and um, has boundaries in place and that might be something he's admires about her there is concern here that somebody's using their health their bad health um, and I'm quoting that because that might just be a ruse that might just be a lie to get her to stay with this person this empress to stay with this king of swords in reverse i'm getting dictator vibes you know that controlling possessive type of energy so this is all going to change but it looks like it might be three to five months from now um possibly maybe even less than that maybe even three to five weeks um, i don't know what i did with my dice i don't have them on the table <laughs> 
and I can't roll it, but that's okay because I, I do feel like three to five weeks is more accurate than months. Um, let's do some star cards and moon cards because we just we're going to be in that energy pretty quick here uh, with the new moon I, it's next week I think from when I'm doing this reading so let's see what the, the cards are for the star cards what's the energy for the divine or the divine <laughs> the um, empress and Keanu Reeves seven sisters circle sisterhood enriches my life so there might be a friend here that maybe knows the two of them that may get these two together somehow I don't think it's going to be something that is planned I think it's just gonna happen the way the circle is it's just gonna be a, a destined thing to come through here the cosmos ascending yeah somebody is yeah they are going to expand their awareness and ascend and it's something's coming to light about this energy about this journey about this change having to do with a mature woman and a wealthy man and this empress is mature I feel like so is the wealthy man he's matured some here they're going to keep it a secret from everybody, too. Let's see. What is the fear here between these two? Is there any fears here when it comes to these two? We have the visionary awake. <laughs> so they may awaken, and this might scare them a little. I mean, sometimes that, that happens, right? With an intuitive perspective, I see the bigger picture. And this mature woman, I feel may have changed her perspective or maybe Keanu did let's see we have the beloved Zeus lovers this cosmic union is uh, destined for greatness so there is definitely an energy here of destiny this is destined to happen they are both awakening or one has already awoken and the other is on their way to awakening Let's see, what's the community card here? The boundaries. The lost star, rebirth, out of the darkness into the light. So somebody is coming out of this maybe darker energy that maybe they're in this sadder energy. Um, maybe the reversal here. The awakener, rise, out of the ashes, I rise like the golden sun. and this is with the rebirth here out of the darkness into the light so one is the sun so i feel like they end up maybe running into each other and this is their awakening here so they're both awakening let's let's see what we've got here what do they feel what is the feeling between these two for Keanu, what does he feel about this empress? The winged messenger creation, spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. So she may have a lot of good ideas. She may just be inspiring to him where he can create or um, tap into something. The universal midwife birth a birth fruitful and sacred assignments so there's something they're meant to do here the rebirth and then birth and then the child card in reverse so she may end up having his child in the end here if she's able to let's see what's the journey here what's the journey for these two for Keanu first please What's the journey for Keanu here? We have uh, the sun goddess. So 
lift off. I open my senses and feel delicious pleasure and passion. Didn't I say there was a lot of passion here and desire? And this is definitely with that devil card and a lot of uh, passion and desire here. The storyteller, intention. I am the narrative of my life. And I feel like with the sun card here, the sun goddess, pleasure and passion. Now this could really help them manifest together I feel like they're going to accomplish great things because they're going to be able to work off each other in a sense to manifest what they want their best life to be the morning star radiance I shoot for the stars radiance is my birthright yeah this change and they may end up this this is destined to happen already so this is something that they had been given for at birth this is this is before even before they may have been born this was something that was supposed to come through let's see the aqua Roma aqua marine star expression i express my intuition and self-confidence and love so there is definitely love here and things is changing here once these two meet run into each other or once these things uh have healed hmm what's this coffin here the medicine woman heal didn't I just say they're gonna heal first I nurture and nourish my mind body and soul and this is on the coffin card so what is the distant horizon here hmm the mirror so this may even be a twin flame reflect I hold the mirror up to see accept and love all of me this is about self love and healing and wow this is amazing that it's coming up on these cards the mature man in reverse, please. And the bad health in reverse. So the mature man in reverse, please, for Keanu. We have Starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. So I feel like they're going to realize what they're meant to be doing here. I feel like when they get together, they're, it's going to be... Um, Oh, it could come through as a dream. I wish upon a star my dreams come true. And someone here is the manifester. It looks like it might be this empress. And it looks like Keanu may be very intuitive here. What's the sudden wealth in reverse? The huntress quest. The Pleiades light my quest to be wild and free. So... I feel like wealth is not a factor here. What's the concern? The amber star, let go. I surrender and allow myself to grieve. So somebody may have lost uh, someone here uh, with the coffin card or it could be with the king of swords in reverse. The Cosmic Enchantress, Witchcraft, I attract a steady flow of abundance. So it looks like no matter what, they're going to be successful. And even though that sudden wealth was in reverse, I feel like once they get together, that's going to change. What's this privileged lady in reverse? What's this privileged lady in reverse? The mystic. Wow. Okay. Magic. I weave my magic and surrender to the universe. So I feel like they they know they have to surrender and once they manifest what they want for it to be uh be able to come in. Wow, okay. We have the star daughters dance. I dance and sing and play with my sisters at sunset. Perhaps he has family or she does. And maybe a lot of, maybe they have kids already. Maybe she already has kids. 
Let's see, goddess of balance, equality. I create and foster reciprocal relationships. And this is that equal give and take here. Wow. And wow, that's crazy because, you know, this may be exactly what he's looking for. It looks like he gives a lot in this queen of wands here with the wealthy man and the four of pentacles. Um, or it is this queen of wands that's giving to him. I mean, I still feel like he's the wealthy man here. We have the little star divine. My inner child is whole and complete. And this is when they will come together. This is, they are doing the self-love at the bottom here. And by the top, they are already, um, I feel like manifesting together having this uh, equal give and take here and then dancing singing and and just celebrating life and maybe there will be a child in the the mix of things here maybe she already has children maybe she's a grandma <laughs> you never know right so i mean he is a little older so he might end up finding somebody that already has kids and has their kids have kids I mean that would be roughly around his age around 50 ish somewhere in there all right wow I'm liking this so far I mean things are really going well for him or will be so don't don't worry about him he's he's got something destined to happen here let's get the energy here don't let your past hold you back. And I feel like this could be this queen of wands, maybe stepping into the way, or this king of swords here that might be trying to get in the way. And that's the south node. We have the personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. And this could be that maybe they're getting divinely, getting divine downloads about each other or maybe of what they're supposed to be doing. We have communication is key. And this may be a fear of them, um, one of them to communicate here. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Okay, and so I'm feeling like March is part of the equation here. And could be March or May because we have Gemini here or even Cancer here. So within that three to five months range. So I feel like it's going to start in Aries. But I feel like it's already started. Um, maybe finishes in Aries, uh, which is on this new moon coming up on the 21st. So, and it might run through May to Cancer here. April, May, June, July. So, yeah. And um, step out of your comfort zone. So maybe this is something they need to be doing here. And I feel like that's that's what's going to happen. Uh, I feel like it might be, oh, bring love into the situation here. So love is the highest frequency. So this is definitely something that's and this is an Aquarius so I feel like they're maybe realizing there's no love between whoever they're with right now and who they what could be um, maybe they've settled okay instead of um, following their heart's desire maybe they haven't met each other yet your commitment is being tested first quarter moon so and this is the rise out of the ashes I feel like the golden sun and this is I'm feeling a wake-up call and it, it, this is this is going to be a test to see if they do what they're meant to be doing here by closing out a cycle and moving forward to meet each other and this is going to be a test did you learn about what you needed to learn the lessons learned here about love are you actually following your heart's desire or are you settling here what's the winged messenger here 
Mm, prosperity lies ahead. And this is on the wealthy man here, new moon in Taurus. So that is coming up as well. Next month, that's Aries, Taurus, Gemini. So yeah, what, what about the uh, Empress in reverse? A time to give rather than take. And this... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we have uh, love here with the heart chakra here. And um, this may be when they meet here, it looks like, possibly. Let's see. What is this pleasure and... I can narrate my own life here. Yeah, there's time for healing and nothing is set in stone. So this to me is saying that this this is when things are coming to light about who they are with right now. And I feel like this is going to bring this change, okay? Knowing that they need to heal their heart from something, maybe going through the baggage and not carrying all that dead weight with them when they go to move forward. Let's see, what do we have for their near future intuition here? You are good enough, and that may have been a factor for one of these people, whether it's Keanu or his future spouse. Yeah, adjustments are required, which is runs right into that change here. There is recovery here, so they are going to recover about whatever they're in right now to be able to move forward to meet one another here. What's the healing? You and your loved ones are safe, so their families are protected here, I feel. The, the mirroring here, what's that? Conclusions are within reach. Yeah, full moon eclipse. So I feel like things are being realized or already have been realized and they know they need to end things and things are starting to heal. Look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sag. So somebody may have the sign of Sagittarius here, um, of Cancer, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Cancer again. Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, yeah, let's see, what is that they don't see coming here, what did they see coming, spirit, and I got two cards, one for Keanu, your dreams need a practical plan, which I feel like they're going to work this out, and it's full moon in Taurus, so this could be when Taurus season is that they're going to come up with some type of plan together, and step out of your comfort zone came up, this is the north node, so they have the south node, don't let your past hold you back, and now they're stepping into their north node, their purpose, what they're meant and destined to be doing, so what is the outcome for this, for these two, for Keanu and his future spouse? What's the outcome for them? For Keanu and his future spouse. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So this might be when he, um, this next month coming up, that they end up meeting each other and maybe he goes after her. And luck is on her side. New moon in Sag. So, wow. <laughs> There's a lot of purple here, a lot of blue, a lot of throat chakra here, and heart. Their heart chakra. And even uh, the sacral chakra. <laughs> that passion and pleasure zone. Wow. Ah! <laughs> that sensuality, emotions, and creativity when it comes to love. So, wow. And on the bottom of the deck, it says your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. So this could be all starting in January, February, and it's going to end up where in airy season is maybe when they it could be Sagittarius season when they get married, maybe, or when things come where 
Maybe they do get married, or maybe when the child is born. <laughs> is that nine months from now? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to do the math on that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is high honor. This is the ancestors for these two. Because you never know who's who in the spirituality realm, okay? Um, not the spirituality realm, but the spirit realm. And just because we all know it's there, we just can't see it. Some of us can, so, but not normally, not everybody does, right? I mean, they're not supposed to really, so unless you're tapped in or gifted or whatever. But I feel like spirit holds Keanu and his future spouse in high honor here. They are up there, maybe even royalty when it comes to the spiritual realm. They definitely are being looked at as, I'm kind of feeling like um, they're being cheered on to learn the lessons they're meant to learn because that's why we're here right and if everybody could look at it that way sure yeah it might hurt but it's meant to so you learn and sometimes it takes something major for people to get the idea or the picture and it may be something that is really devastating to somebody because if they're settling and not doing anything about it, nothing's changing and years are going by and they're still in the same situation and they haven't changed anything, sometimes that tower really has to hit hard for the message to get to that person that they something needs to change here. And if you're not going to change it, we're going to change it or spirit's going to change it. You know what I mean? So spirit or their angel guides when I say we're it's usually ancestor spirit guides and it's usually has to do with spirit wanting this change and having this change come in so in order to get them on their destined path and this is all orchestrated to be how it's meant to come through or happen and there might be a lot of suffering as well um, depending on um, who you are and maybe what you've done in the past maybe you have a lot of guilt or shame but all those things are there for a reason and for you to work through and order to become your best self you know and your best version of yourself so and I feel like they get the idea here things need to change things do change and things they see that bigger picture here they make the adjustments they step out of their comfort zone and usually that's how it has to happen is stepping out of that comfort zone in order to have things progress um, if you always stayed in your house nothing would ever happen right so yeah they're definitely held in high honor they're going to recover and move towards one another here and get into their north node which is beautiful so this is really great here um all their work is going to pay off they're going to manifest exactly the life they want with each other and there may even be a child involved eventually here Let's see, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November is Sagittarius. That's nine months, so... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> maybe I'm... Uh... Sorry, Keanu, maybe I've said too much. <laughs> In any case... <laughs> um, this is what I have for him, and... It looks really great. I, I hope this all works out for him. And uh, just keep in mind that there are people out there copying Keanu's picture and a lot of the other celebrities' pictures and, and posting as if they are them. That is a scam. So if you click on their picture and there is no website or any um, 
channel for them or anything. It's usually a scam. If they are changing their WhatsApp number five or six times, <laughs> it's a scam. So they have to keep moving out of that thing so they don't get caught because that is fraud, especially if they get money from you and posing as somebody they're not. So especially someone famous. So in any case, report them. Uh, if you feel there's something going on there, do not give them money or any personal information. So, but this is what I have. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. And I really appreciate all the donations and all the gifts. This is really great um, that there's so many people supporting the channel. So I appreciate you all. <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> and um take care and we'll see you next time all right later